G'day superstars, sometimes you get that perfect shot. You film your subject, it's perfect in every way, the audio is great, your subject looks great, everything's lit perfectly, but you have one small problem. Someone walks across the background, or the background isn't what you want. Now usually you would try and pick your background and film where you can to get that best result, but sometimes you get governed by the customer and they tell you where they want to film, and sometimes it's a really horrible background and there's nothing you can do about it. So I'll show you how to get rid of that background in DaVinci Resolve during a video so you can put whatever background you want in there instead. This is some footage I got off the internet, I've just cut a section out of it to show you what we can do with it. I'm going to go into the colour tab. And in the colour tab over to the right here you've got Magic Mask which is this box here. So click on that. Now you might have a window that looks like this or this or this or so on or this. Click on this box right here, that's Magic Mask. Make sure it's set to faster because it'll be a lot less intensive on your processor. And make sure that you select object mask on the left here. You can do person and you can do features of that person and so on. But I suggest you just do object first. If it doesn't work as good as you'd like, then maybe get into the person side after that. But click on there first, go right to the start. So what we're gonna do over here next above faster is a I drop it with, with a plus on it, so we're going to click on that and we're going to just draw an outline where we want this mask to be. So we want to go down there. So this is the part we want to keep. This is the part we want to have control of. You don't have to be precise at all, we just want to give the rough shape of where we're going to be. Now if you look at that, what we've done, you see, if you move the, the wheel down the bottom here, you'll see that there's a little tiny blue dot. That means we've created a mask in that one spot. We want to create a mask across the whole footage. So now we're going to go to the left and right arrows here, and that'll track forward and back in one go. So it'll track all the way across and then all the way back. Now if you had, if you'd started in the middle and you picked a spot in the middle, it would track forward and back from there. So we click on that now. And this could take a little while to click through. Now, after it's done that, you click over here to the right, and you click on these two shadow boxes here, and as you can see, it'll show up her as red, and that shows you what you've tracked. And if we scroll through, if we press play again, it's done a really, really good job. In fact, it's done a very good job. Usually I have to correct it a little bit. If you get shading in here that's red during your clip, you can then go to the minus button over here and you can click on that and then track it forward and back and get rid of just that area. So you actually can remove areas that you don't want tracked. Now we've done that, we now have control over just her. So we turn that mask off, you literally can go over here and you can adjust the brightness and so on of her. You can change how she looks, change the color like you normally do. You can change. For instance, let's go over here to the contrast wheel and we'll bring the contrast down. We'll put the contrast up and so on. You can boost saturation. All those kinds of things. And it's just adjusting her and not the background at all. But now what you want to do is you want to isolate that background and remove it. And this is why we're doing this video. So you go up here to your node area, you right click and go add alpha output. And that little blue dot down there, you want to click it and drag it across to this blue square. Now when you play it back, we have isolated her. Now the edging, edging could be smoother in spots and so on, it just depends on what you're going to have behind. If you can have black, you'll see it a lot more. But you can click, you can change all those settings down here, you can blur the radius a little bit, change the edges a little bit. I tend to just leave them alone, but it's up to you what you want to do. If you go back into your edit tab over here, down the bottom here you can see that she's been all isolated by herself. Now I've got a white block, a white panel I'm bringing in. So we'll put that there, put her on top of that white panel. Now we've got this really nice white square. And you think, well big deal, but then we see now we can add text. So if you go to effects up here, and click on, scroll down to titles, and you do text. We'll bring that down over here, for instance. 
we're just going to play with that text a little bit. So let's go over to Inspector and we'll just have Nice Hat, we're going to call it. And we change the color to, we'll change the color to, I usually go black against a white background, but you won't see it at the moment. So we're going to change it to, say, a gray, like so. We'll change the font to Montserrat. And I'm going to change the size. Now if you bring that above the white panel here like this, and then bring her above that, now you've got these words behind her. And what we can do with the text is we can animate it left and right, then go up to Inspector, and we can animate the position. So we can start here, click on that. We can also increase the size while we're at it. And then when we get to here, we can animate it the other way. So you press play. These are the things you can do if you isolate the background. But you don't have to use that, you can use, you can do something else. We go back up to our media pool, we can bring in a sunset for instance. We get rid of the text, we can leave the text there actually, we'll bring the sunset down here, in the timeline, we'll move her out of the way and we'll go above, so we'll go below the text, move that, move the white panel out of the way. So it still says what it says, we can put her back where she was. And as you can see, she's not bright enough. The sky's wrong, but we go into color again. We can select the sky. We can bring that, bring the lift right up, like so. The contrast can come in a bit. And you can pretty much do anything you want to do. Obviously she needs to be adjusted more, so we can click on her now and adjust her more by bringing her uh, lift up as well. It'd be much better if she was brighter for this thing. Like that. It looks like the sun's shining through the hat now as opposed to how it was a minute ago. And we can get the saturation down a little bit if we want to. And away you go. Go back into the edit tab. This is what it looks like. Now you've removed your background and put the background in you want, you may want to slow your footage down. So you click on this video here and I'll show you just how to do that and I'll see you in the next video.